All right, so today I'm working on 3rd Avenue and 77th Street. We're gonna walk up 3rd Avenue today. So we're gonna just, as you can see, I already voted. So yeah, it's a blessing right there. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we do it, right? Making money as you're supposed to be doing. And um, coming back, I'm gonna walk down Shore Road and catch the B1 back. So when I'm done my shift, so me, let me go. I got you, I got you. Come on, come on. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. put my phone down because people standing with their phones and you try to be professional when you're doing this type of work so let me try to be professional out here alright okay, so this block 76 take it So I'm not taking the 64 back. I'm gonna walk up this is on um, Carver Road. Walk up Carver Road and then take the um I'm gonna walk up Carver Road and take the take it to 86, turn down 86, and I'm right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, better right there. So it's like easy access and money right there. So that's what we're gonna do today. Alright? Let's try the easy access way. What I like about working in this area is that the people are very nice in this area. So it's like, I've been working over this area for seven years. And out of the seven years I've been working around here, everybody loved the work that I do, you know? They asked me, what you doing for a living? I said, I make videos and I, I stream about culture, street culture and stuff like that. He's, 
the person's like, oh, that's nice. You can make money doing that. I say, yeah, I'm making money now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I told him that I do um, product management. I design my own products, and I'm about to start selling them next year, you know? The product is dropping next year summer, so uh, Five Fish Production will be doing the LLC by next year February. We will file the LLC, get the contract so we can start um, doing some promotion. Um, we also trying to think about expanding in the Caribbean island as well. So we're trying to um, schedule a tour where I could take a tour in the, um, Jamaica, Guyana, Barbados, um, California, all those states right there and promote the product and stuff like that. So we starting to work on that right now. So right now we are actually doing this. Let me just turn my camera this way to respect the people that's walking on the block with their child, you feel me? Yeah, so I have to respect that because while they're walking, I don't want to shoot the kid in the stroller because that's unprofessional right there. So this is what Ridge Road. So we're going to have to take a Ridge Road down there because it's Ridge Road. Let me put the camera this way. Respect the citizen. This is a dead end. If we do the dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end right here. So what I gotta do is see what I'm, I'm across here, go around. Alright, this is a dead end right here. So I'm across the street here and then right walk on the same block and then I'm just gonna shoot right down there. We good. So I'm just gonna have to um, do as I can right now. So we are going to be careful where I cross the street. I'm gonna let them go. Come on, come on, you good? Yeah, all right, let that car stop and let me cross. Good looking. They need to put a traffic light right here because suppose there's an incident right on the same block. Like people that live in this area, they need to put a traffic light right right at the corner because, you know, um, years ago there was a like incident happened on the block where people get into accidents with their vehicles and it's not fair for people that live in the area that have to go through incidents like that. They need to put a traffic light stop right on the corner. So I think what they the area need to, um, you know, alert with a city council. Let's see how the ways they can improve the neighborhood. So that's what they need to be doing, you know? Because suppose the people get into accidents around this area and they don't have no traffic light where they could say go or stop. And it's very frustration when people have to drive their cars and a person is crossing the street trying to get across the street and they get hit because of the, there's no traffic light at the area. So they need to put one right there. And I think the people that live in the area need to address that with their council people because it's not fair for them to be living in an area where they don't have no traffic light. And it's, it's, it really is ridiculous. Because people trying to cross the street, they can't cross the street. And then when they intersect and then the car get licked and stuff and then they intersect, it's wrong for people to be living in an area where the car get intersect and they have nowhere to go you feel me they have a traffic light go by shore road area and bear ridge parkway area but why they don't put a traffic light on this block i don't know i took a picture of this house and i put, put it on instagram <laughs> I took a picture of this house. I'm going to put it on Instagram. <laughs> they don't mind me. Mm -hmm. Cause I, if, I, if I build a house like that someday, I would love to build a house like that someday. Let me be careful. There's a lady sitting on the steps. Let me just pass her real quick. I 
don't want to like light it up. Alright. So we're actually on the block right here. Carswell. Carswell World. Alright, so we're gonna have to cross the other side. Should we get more footage is over here? We got it. So, Alright, so we got Carswell. Let me stop here. Let my camera stop here.